It's a glimpse at just how desperate the situation is in eastern Syria. Hundreds scramble to get their hands on water and bread being handed out by government soldiers. Up to 50,000 Syrians have been forced from their homes in recent days as fighting intensifies in two pockets of the country. And the UN says thousands are risking their lives trying to escape. They have to make a treacherous path through, risking shelling and explosive hazards only to reach checkpoints manned by government-backed armed groups, where they may only be permitted to cross after paying a bribe. The situation, absolutely dire in eastern Ghouta, where Russian airstrikes reportedly killed 31 people today. Turkey's foreign minister says the area is headed toward disaster, as the Syrian-backed coalition continues to pound rebel-held areas near the capital city of Damascus. A special humanitarian corridor has been set up, allowing thousands of civilians to leave. 1,100 have died since the assault began nearly a month ago. While the fighting rages on here in Ghouta, to the north in Afrin, another humanitarian crisis is playing out. The UN says that 250,000 people are relying on untreated water, and the lone hospital in the region is absolutely overwhelmed. Reports from inside Afrin indicate that dozens of children have been killed and many more injured since the start of hostilities in the district. For the last 10 days, children and families have suffered severe water shortages as the source of water for Afrin City has reportedly been cut off. Amateur video appears to show the fighting on the ground just north of Afrin, where shelling of Turkish troops killed at least 18 today. 30,000 have been forced from the city and surrounding villages during the two-month assault as Turkey continues to target Kurdish militia operating in the area. Yesterday marked a grim anniversary. The Syrian civil war entered its eighth year. More than 400,000 people have been killed and 12 million driven from their homes since the fighting began.